Hello, my name is Hannah and I'm a current intern with Memory and Movement Charlotte. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to set up an online Athena portal account once you've had your first appointment with us. First, you should have received an email with the subject line, your name, so in this case it says Hannah, stay connected with Memory and Movement Charlotte. Please open that email now and click on the blue button that says create my account. Once you click on this button, you will be directed to another page, if it will load for me here, where you're gonna be asked to set a password. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna fill in a random password, but whatever you do decide to fill in, please be sure to write down your actual password because you'll need that to log in in the future. Just to be clear, your password is any string of characters and numbers you would like, and we don't provide that for you. So let me just fill in a password here. And then it's gonna ask you to confirm the password. So you're gonna type the exact same thing, and then you're gonna click save and continue. So here it's basically just saying that for your security, your account's gonna be protected by dual authentication measures. So we're gonna hit continue. So that what that means is this is a system that protects your account from fraud by double checking that it's you every time you log in. You can choose for three different options as the second authentication step, text, call, or security question. Um, we suggest that you use the text function as it's the simplest to manage, but you may choose another option if that serves you best. In this video, we're gonna demonstrate the text dual authentication option, but other options work very similar to that. So I'm gonna say that I want them to text me my security code. So let me enter the phone number that I want them to send my code to. And then I'm basically gonna wait for a text on my phone that should give me a six digit code. And for me, that was 003164. Again, that code will be different for everyone and you will receive it as a text message. Also with us, if you've already given us a phone number or a primary phone number that you text from or call from, your phone number would have been automatically updated into the portal without typing it in there. So if that happens to be the wrong number and you'd like to change it, you can call our office and we can easily do that on our end. Now you're going to be brought to the terms and conditions. This is basically our patient portal terms and conditions privacy agreements, how our portal works. I would encourage you to read this, but I have. So we're gonna click, I accept the terms and conditions and continue. And then you've logged into your portal. And this is the main screen that you should see every time you log in. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for other videos on how to navigate the portal. In this video, I'm going to show you how to view an upcoming appointment or request an appointment. First, to view any appointments in the portal after logging in, you will click Appointments on the left sidebar of the patient portal. There, you will see a list of your upcoming appointments with dates and times, as well as the provider you will be seeing. Since I don't currently have any upcoming appointments, Let's request one together. First, you will select the blue button that says Request Appointment. You're going to see that it's going to take you to a screen where you'll have to fill in your desired information for this appointment. For this demonstration, I'm going to leave the message type as Appointments and Scheduling. Sending a general message to the practice or other types of messages are going to be covered in another video. Next, you're going to select your doctor or PA as your desired provider and leave the location as new main office unless you want to be seen at Southminster. Again, you'll select this drop down, and let's say that I want to see Dr. Iyer for this demonstration. 
and I'm going to leave that I want to see him at the new main office unless my desired location was the Southminster office. Next, you're going to select your time of day preference followed by any available days of the week. So I want to see Dr. Iyer for an injection in the morning, and my only available days are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Finally, I can type in a subject line as well as a message to my physician's team in order to receive, receive a call back to schedule. After this, you would then hit send here down at the bottom of the screen, and we would receive that message and give you a call. In our practice, you will rarely need to request an appointment as we typically schedule you for the next appointment during checkout, or we'll call you to schedule as we have ticklers in our system on when you need to be scheduled. But now you know how to do it in case an emergency arises and you need a follow-up sooner. In this video, we're gonna discuss how to send a message on the portal to your clinical team or to the office. From the home page on the portal, please select messages in the top right corner. Here, you will see previous messages as well as current conversations. As I don't have any messages at this moment, we're going to click on the compose message button. Both this compose message button and this one take you to the same place. Here, you're now directed to the compose message tab. First, we're gonna select message type. As you can see from the drop-down menu here, you have several options when sending us a message. Medical questions can pertain to any questions you may have about your health, excluding prescription and refill questions. Appointments and scheduling would be selected if you needed to update, schedule, or reschedule an appointment with us. Prescription and refills is for questions about your medications as well as to refill a given prescription. Statement, billing, or insurance questions pertain to questions about copays or annual fees. My profile is if you need any help resetting any aspect of your profile in Athena, such as updating an address or phone number with us. Finally, you may select other for all other concerns. For now, I'm gonna select other. Next, you're gonna select your desired provider team to receive this message from the drop-down menu. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm a patient that typically sees Dr. Iyer. You may leave the location as new main office, as regardless of whether you set this location in this message, we will receive it in our new main office and respond to you promptly. Finally, fill out the subject line as well as the body with your desired message. Once you hit send down here at the bottom, your message will be sent to that designated provider team. Again, this is typically the fastest way to reach us for all prescription, medical, or billing questions as our phone lines do get busy during the day. In this video, we'll be discussing how to check bills or payments and also pay an annual fee online. So let's say you wanna make a medical payment through the portal. You're going to navigate first to the billing and payments tab on the left sidebar. Here, once it loads, you will see the number total with the amount due on your account. There are also other tabs here, such as payment history for all pre previous payments, payment methods, where you can use this button to add a credit card to your account, statements to see all previous statements with the practice, as well as closed charges or statements that have already been paid. As you can see on my account, I don't currently have any bills due, but those would be listed, especially if you've seen the practice for a long time. It's important to note that only medical bill payments can be made through the Athena portal. 
If you've received a notice that you have an annual fee payment due, then continue watching this video for a step-by-step -step tutorial. You can see that note right here at the top of the bill pay statement that to pay your annual fee online, you're going to visit our website and select contact on the menu bar followed by pay annual fee from the drop-down menu. We're gonna do that together shortly. However, for bill payment, as well as annual fee payment, you are also off able to do that in our office in person if you so choose. So to pay an annual fee online, you will first navigate to mmclt.org, which is also linked on your Athena portal page. We'll click it right here together. Next, you're gonna click the drop down or hover your mouse over the drop down contact, and then scroll down to pay annual fee. Here, you will securely be able to enter both your billing information as well as credit card number to pay the fee online. Once you're finished, you will click submit payment. As always, if you have any questions, you can call the number listed down below or even better, and as shown in a previous video, you can send us a message through the portal, which you now know how to do, or you can use this link conveniently located at the bottom of the bill pay screen.